Ora abbiamo eh, Iari e Yuri. Eh, aspettate un secondo. Che, eh, per il WRTC, abbiamo i campioni del WRTC eh, del 2024. Beh, scusate, 2023, sono andato avanti, anzi sarebbe 2022. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do you hear me or not? Do you hear me speak? No. Ma poi tra una guerra.
Okay, so uh, yes, we uh, had our only hope for wildcard because uh, nobody selected us as teammates. <laughs> uh, but uh, then the wars started, and it was obvious that um, uh, our first Ukrainian team probably will not go. And uh, after we realized that we will not be selected as a wildcard team, we even uh, applied as a ref. We emailed our applications, me and Yari. And then one day Yari called me and he said, listen, there's going to be another Russian team uh, participating. They uh, joined as a donor team. And there's only one spot left as a donor team. So I said, well, why don't we try? Uh, but unfortunately, we, we didn't have uh, enough part of our own. So after consultation with uh, WRTC organizers, with Fabio I or USH, he said that we may try a fund rate. And so we decided to jump in and uh, Try to collect uh, necessary 15,000 euros. So, Yari uh, created a website, and I was kind of the uh, media director. So, we started to contact and advertise uh, and uh, contact a lot of people and see how it goes. Uh, first guy who actually uh, responded to us was um, Hobart B to Alpha Echo Delta from Canada and he even came to my town with his wife and spent two days uh, we were talking and uh, so he was the first one who contributed to him a month. After that we had an overwhelming response from a lot of different people. We uh, published everybody's name and call sign on our website and uh, by the end of October, with the help of our Ukrainian company, Redexpert Ukraine, and also well-known football player, uh, Sergei Rebro, uh, UT5 UDX, we actually closed the gap and we were able to transfer the necessary uh, funds to organizer. And so we decided to call ourselves uh, Team Ukraine. Unfortunately, uh, the war was going on in full swing and uh, we faced a lot of other challenges. First of them being uh, the martial law that would uh, uh, prohibit all men from Ukraine to leave the country. All men uh, uh, aged, uh, I think, 18 to 60. And so we started to work on special permission uh, for Yari uh, to get him uh, out of the country to this uh, When we met in October 2021, we decided that if we would go to WRTC, first thing we need spares for everything. So we would need a spare radio, a spare triplexers, a spare set of filters, and uh, the second thing which we decided, since we collected uh, a lot of money from different people, so we felt kind of responsibility to show a good score. So we decided to go on a training session to eat, if that would be possible. So in that regard, we would like to ask a lot of organizations that would help us to get uh, permission for Yari that involve Ukrainian Amateur Radio League and also your own Ari uh, and uh, uh, personally Filippo is at one LPG. So tons of paperwork were prepared. And then uh, with the help of our another Ukrainian friend, Slava USQYW, uh, we got in touch with 
Andrea, I came for Victor Ecotango, who actually helped us to organize the trip. And uh, he got us in touch with uh, Claudio, I came to YCW. I'm sure you know, uh, you, you all know uh, this fine gentleman. And uh, so after preparing a lot of uh, stuff and work and equipment, we were able to come to Italy in early May to participate in our contest as altitude uh, low power. So uh, Andrea met us at the airport and brought to Claudio's uh, beautiful station and we spent uh, three days there preparing. Uh, it was real difficult to find such a simple antennas at his huge age because, as you see, uh, uh, he, he has a lot of towers uh, on the next picture. This top picture shows Andrea showing us uh, Italy Radio 4 X-ray location. So here's the Claudia uh, station uh, with a few towers. But uh, we managed to find a tri-bender and two wire antennas for 80 and 40 meters, so we could simulate WRTC setup 100%. So uh, Claudio uh, brought us a dedicated table where we could put all our stuff. So all you can see on this picture is our actual setup, which we uh, were. Uh, which we intended to bring to WHC into a uh, month. Before our contest started, uh, Andre came to visit us and he, he was kind of a coach for us. He was teaching us about the propagation, local conditions. For example, uh, guys, don't forget to turn your antenna to Japan at 2100 Zulu or 15 meters, something like that. So I'd like to thank Andrea uh, separately for everything that he's done for us. He was a big part of our success. Also, uh, Claudia uh, and his family, they took great care of us during all these days. And uh, during the contest and even before, we found a few bugs in our setup. For instance, uh, just one day before the contest, started, uh, one of our case three died, but he already spent a few hours at night and disassembled it and assembled it again, so we we were making business. So here you see our actual setup for our contest uh, with uh, uh, a pair of case threes, triplexer, uh, vent pass filters, and uh, Yarek's own uh, band decoder slash controller, which would uh, do the cat control and all the switch on the top of the radio. Uh, so to be able to test our equipment on a, on a spot actually very close to Bologna, I would call it another big part of our success. So thanks again to Claudio I came to YCW and his family. Uh, so, uh, since it was our first time uh, to visit Italy, neither me or Yari, we've never been to Italy before. And I have to admit it's a shame because I love Italy very much. It's a beautiful country with beautiful people. We spent uh, the whole day in Bologna after the Ari contest uh, sightseeing and we loved it very uh, much. Uh, Claudio also brought us to Bologna uh, and we stayed uh, one night at the hotel before our flight. Uh, Claudio also offered uh, uh, to keep our equipment for WRTC, so that saved us a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of headache and uh, money, so we, did, so we did have to bring our equipment uh, back and forth. Course. So Claudia is a great part of our success too. And uh, again, after uh, preparing a lot of 
paperwork for WRTC and uh, fixing a few bugs. Uh, we were able to come to WRTC in early July. Again, thanks to Ari, URL, and Ukrainian Contest Club for helping us with paperwork. So here on the picture you see the whole Ukrainian uh, so-called delegation, less you uh, are five Yankee Kilo Ocean, a uh, young uh, fellow who was a part of youth team. So we had one uh, team, one ref, very two support guys and one visitor, UT2, India, India. Uh, WTC is known for meeting uh, with good friends, so we met uh, a couple of guys uh, who were our real friends and supporters. Uh, you see here LY4 Yankee, I'm sure you both know him. And uh, people enjoyed our t-shirts, a lot of people liked them, so we even had to order another bunch of those t-shirts for other people. And here comes the Friday, the draw. Uh, uh, so we uh, pulled one of the uh, distant location from Bologna, I think it was uh, in uh, Reggio Emilia uh, province, and the, the drive time was probably close to three hours. But our best asset that we pulled in a draw was Stefano, I came to go back to India. <laughs> and he was local, which is a big advantage, and also well known con tester who knows all the teaching you know around contesting and it's very important because I've been to uh, eight WRTCs and I can confess that not always the referees are very skilled for instance uh, one WRTC we had a guy who I believe couldn't even copy CW well and uh, also he wrote the whole notebook of uh, complaints on us <laughs> that we spoke with each other in, in Russian or Ukrainian, which was allowed. Actually. Anyway, so uh, so we were uh, blessed with St Stefano as uh, our referee, and he's another big part of our success. So we drove to our location with Stefano and. Uh, I thought it just an ordinary, average, agro-tourismo location, but Stefano told me that uh, this location is a bit better than others, and yes, living conditions were just excellent. We had a separate bedroom, uh, we had air conditioning in every room, and most important, the, the hostess, the lady who this hotel, she was very, very helpful and very friendly. Uh, without her, we probably couldn't do what, what we did. And uh, I believe her name was uh, Simon Netta, if I'm not mistaken. So we examined our setup and uh, right away we found a couple of things that needed to be fixed. For instance, um, our uh, tri-bender coax, the cable, it was touching one of the legs of 40 meters antenna and uh, uh, with the consultation, uh, after the consultation with uh, the WRTC headquarters and with permission of Stefano, we moved that uh, cable using some long stick we moved it away uh, about five to six centimeters and that decreased the, the <laughs> interference. Uh, other than that, we suffered from noise and uh, Stefano was kind enough to help us with that 
noise uh, searching source. Uh, I I don't know even what he did, but and on the next uh, morning our noise dropped by probably five units, which helped us a lot. So here you see uh, our antenna and uh, the background, which is pretty good. No buildings close to us, and uh, Stefano helped us to fight the noise, so we're pretty ready to roll. Okay, uh, so here we are in front of our uh, antenna and location. Pretty happy <laughs> with everything. Okay, we had unexpected visitor before the contest. As you see, our guy who actually organized our uh, trip in May stopped by and uh, we were happy to make a picture. Uh, so, uh, the most uh, critical part is, you know, food and accommodation. Here on the left you see our hostess, Simonetta. And we can't thank her enough for taking care of us. She was offering us food like every half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we if, if we would eat everything that she would offer, we would never win, I guess. Okay, here here comes the the, the most responsible part. Step up on this spot. Again, when we uh, managed to uh, connect everything, we found out that we had some uh, some interference between 40 and 20. I was told that every other team, they had the same. So we were trying different technique to get used to it. Uh, on later picture, you see behind the, the, the monitor, there's an empty bottle, and we used it uh, for winding RF choke. So uh, we put RF chokes everywhere, on antennas, on, on, on the radio, and turrets. And here in the picture, you see our final setup. So we had two K3 radios. I had P3 uh, pan adapter. Here it has the uh, pan adapter built in. And, uh, he looked at it on his monitor. Uh, we had spare K3 that we uh, used because our one of our main radio again uh, lost power on 15. Uh, so all the bands were okay, but 15 we had only like 10 watts. So we decided to replace it with a spare. So spare is the key to success. If you guys go to WRTC next time, just keep everything in spare. Yes, and uh, push forward. <laughs> yeah, and uh, then uh, we had a problem with our referee's audio box, which Yarik uh, designed specifically for this contest. And it was just an hour before the contest when, uh, when it failed, and you should see Yarik on the floor with soldering iron and uh, Stefano even left the room because he probably thought, oh, okay, this team is done, so I, I can't I can do like this. Uh, but, you know, Yarik, he managed to fix, to fix everything. Uh, he was very quiet, no panic, and half an hour before the contest, we were seeing... Okay, so we finished the uh, Our problems with the uh, with setup start one day before installation of our equipment and uh, be, before the contest, 20 minutes before the contest, everything complete and uh, in contest, no any problem with equipment. I think it's a uh, one. Uh, this device, when Stefano, one hour before come to say, I don't uh, hear one radio. And uh, start search and found 
this uh, Chinese uh, resistor not good quality. But when uh, made the short, everything okay. And uh, all the contest, we don't have problem with uh, equipment. Or we have uh, five minutes uh, oh, uh, before the contest, uh, Stepana give uh, the call sign and we go to the shower very quick and relax. Only 20 minutes before contest, contest relax. <laughs> Yes, I I would say all our troubles were before the contest, so we we spent all of them, and uh, the the only little problem, the only one that we had during the contest is with my laptop, with my notebook, uh, which suddenly died, uh, and I realized that the power supply was not connected, <laughs> so that was totally my mistake. So I probably lost five minutes reconnecting it. And that was it. And uh, I've, uh, I was really surprised because I, I was to several WRTCs before and I know how it goes. Sometimes uh, things go tense, you start yelling at each other, you know. But with Yarek, I don't know why, we didn't even raise the voice. Stefano may maybe the weakness. It was, it was going smooth. Everybody knew what to do. We were trying to move multipliers like crazy from them to them. Sometimes you would work same multiplier uh, three times within one uh, minute of different bands. And uh, the training session actually helped me to get prepared for sideband because Yarik voice is so loud on sideband that my uh, box system would trigger. So I came well prepared with my uh, noise cancelling headphones. <laughs> so we we even thought about that. Uh, and, uh, this was uh, another picture before the contest, uh, showing how we were dealing with uh, interference. We were winding uh, the coax, making art jokes for everything. Okay, next uh, picture. So here's our uh, operation during the contest. As you may see, we are, we're not tense. Everything is going in relaxed style. Stefano is taking good care of us, uh, bringing coffee and food. And uh, sometimes when we were uh, about to fall asleep, he was threatening us with this Ukrainian uh, ancient weapon that we uh, gave him as, as a gift. So, like I said, he, he was not only our referee, but kind of our coach too, who, who kept us awake. And uh, then when the contest finished, he asked us, okay guys, so how, how do you think you did? I said, well, Throw did okay top 10. And then he said, no, you won. And we couldn't believe. I actually couldn't believe until the very last uh, moment at the closing ceremony. So here one of the uh, happiest moments in our life. We are on the podium with uh, Claudio, I4, Victor Echo, Quebec, who I think all of you know, he, he's done a lot to make this WRTC happen. So we thank him for all the work he's done. Okay, next picture. Uh, here's again, we are on the podium with Claudio. And here's our uh, young guy uh, on the left picture, uh, second from the left, you are five Yankee Kilo of Ocean. I think he's 16 or 17 years old. And he was a part of the youth team that won uh, the youth competition. So, uh, not much about that. But just see. The, uh, I, I should thank also Nadir, Echo Yankee 8, Mike Mike, who was making a lot of picture because obviously we didn't have time for that. So, I'm using a bunch of his photos for this 
presentation. So thanks to him a lot. After the, the WRTC, I, I was surprised that uh, Claudio, I think, to YCW and his wife, uh, Christina, they invited us to his uh, to their house again, and they prepared a party for us. And as you may see here, they invited everybody who was involved in our success. Uh, Stefano and his wife, Andrea and his wife, and also I came to UPR, and myself, my wife, and uh, Christine, Christina even made this nice uh, cake for us. It was a big surprise. Anyway, I, I should thank all of the people who were involved uh, with us in this event and honestly I was pleasantly surprised with Italy. It's a shameful that I never visited Italy before. Such a beautiful country with beautiful people, very friendly, very, very uh, big hospitality from everybody, great food. So I'm sure I will come again because we were able to visit all in just a couple of uh, cities after the WRTC and I'd like to come again one more time. Yep. So there you go, uh, the WRTC 22 finished. Despite facing a lot of uh, challenges and war and, and uh, COVID, uh, the organizers did a great job in organizing this event and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody in England in 2026. Thank you, Italy. Yuri, do you hear us? Yes, I, I hear you. Okay, wait, I, I, I take the wrong mic. So, so thank you very much uh, for your presentation. Thank you also to Yarik. It was uh, very pleasant to have you there. And uh, we will wait uh, here uh, in the room. There are uh, all the guys that you know very well, uh, Fabio for your face and for the queue in IP9 QO. There was Andrea before, I don't know if you ever seen him, I gave for VAT on, uh, on the uh, webcam. And uh, so it was, uh, was very nice uh, to have you there. And uh, let's hope soon, uh, maybe when the world will finish, to have you here uh, both uh, a human, because normally we are uh, used to have here uh, relators, and, uh, and you are always uh, welcome when you want to come here. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, guys. And, uh, Thank you very much, and let's keep in touch. And uh, now I have your prize. I, I will extend you, uh, okay? Because uh, also to your cap. <laughs> we will send it uh, to you in the in, in the next future as soon as possible. I, I was almost sure that you you have been here in in, in Italy for this uh, ever, but uh, okay, we will send it uh, to you. Uh, soon. But at the least, this means that the, 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 the cup are ready. So, just a question, uh, Yari. What was the, the best WRTC ever? <laughs> <laughs> the one in Italy. <laughs> well, the, the best is always the next one. Ah. <laughs> this is not exactly what we want to hear, but it's okay. <laughs> To be honest, a lot of people didn't believe it was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I was, I was not sure to really organize all the, all the event just uh, for one year before the, the, the WRTC. Then I, I started thinking that uh, it was possible. <laughs> and we, we we put all, all our uh, effort to, to organize it. And uh, I, I'm very glad to see that you have been happy, you enjoy it, you enjoy your, uh, your stay here in Italy, and uh, it's been a pleasure to, to have you here. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. How do you think if we won, 
what? Then it's our best doctor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the right answer. The right answer. <laughs> Finally, we got it. Thank you. <laughs> grazie, grazie, ciao, grazie, ciao.